deal with airplane peanuts. <laughs> the worst is if you're jerking off with a hat on, bro. You're going to hell, a I fedora. think. Fedora. <laughs> yeah, that's the worst, bro. That's the most French thing you can do. <clears throat> Jacking off with them straw Kentucky Derby hats. <laughs> Yeah, what's the worst hat to jack off? The anything? worst hat to jack Probably off. Probably a top hat because you have to balance yourself right. while you're jerking right. off. Yeah. One of them fucking chimney sweep hats. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, the best would be uh, one of those Chinese hats, bro, because if you squat down low enough to the ground, you can almost hide under it and jerk <laughs> off. <you know? laughs> those things would be dope, bro. The most confusing would be like one of them Daniel Boone raccoon caps. <laughs> yeah, but that you got that tail in your eye. <laughs> you push the, t- yeah. you're blowing the, t- the tails in the way. <laughs> get the fuck out of my way with this tail. The Dutch are so aerodynamic. They move good. No, you ever seen a Dutch? They're really aerodynamic. They're they're what? What are you doing with your hands? Lean face, <laughs> lean headed. No, they're not. It's four inches cheek to cheek. They're big people, man. Dude, do you know how big they are? The Dutch, oh, they're very tall, but yeah. they're very aerodynamic, very... Aerodynamic. The downhill people, they call them, dude. <laughs> We're going into the Matrix, Theo Vaughn. We're going into the Matrix. I'm going to get my stuff first. Though. <laughs> <laughs> what would you bring if I said, hey, dude, you can go in the Matrix, but uh, you can bring three things? I'd have to bring a picture of my family, and then I'd have to bring probably... I'd bring probably some water. <laughs> I would. <laughs> you think you'd need water in the Matrix? I'm not going to be the guy without it in there. <laughs> or maybe a toothbrush. <laughs> Dude, you're the only person with a freaking nice grill in the Matrix? You're getting some puss, bro. Dude, in cocaine, oh, go back to that vest story, man. So here's what happened. So I, you know, I would get, I would do some cocaine at the house and put on these different vests. How many did you buy again? I don't know. I spent too much on them, but I would probably say... <laughs> The priciest one I had was probably about $210. Nice. Damn. Yeah. And so I would get fucked up and put these vests on and put on sunglasses and not no like Buffalo Bill shit, but at least partying by myself, you know? Mm -hmm. And one time I was making a smoothie, you know, because I, you know, I have, I got like a new, I don't know what kind of blender it is, but it's pretty nice. And I was making like a nice smoothie and I'm fucking coked up. I'm partying, you know, Mm. I'm living high on the hog. Two vests on, maybe right. And I thought, I, <laughs> dude, I thought I heard something outside, right? Which is kind of weird to even think of when you have a blender going, right? So I leave out of my apartment to go in the hallway, lock myself out with the blender going. <laughs> Two thirty in the morning, coked up out of my brain, right? <laughs> now I have to go to my landlord, dude, uh, who lives r- right down the hall, oh, no. and tell him. What activities do you think you do where you come a lot? Like the kind of people that like power oh. lifters probably shoot giant loads, right? Dude, this shit is getting gay, bro. Today, <laughs> man, sorry, I gotta. Fucking... It's just very dick oriented today. I wouldn't say it's gay. Well, it's that time of year. It's spring. People are refreshed. It's not spring. It's, it's the middle of the winter. Yeah, it's freezing cold out. It's just January. Whatever. You guys it's aren't. Op- you guys aren't open minded. <laughs> That's what I think. Bro. <laughs> It doesn't get more winter than okay. January. Well, it's not even a Groundhog's Day yet. Why don't I just say it's August? Okay. Why, why just scooping up shit? Imagine if your grandma just shit all over your yawn. Just go out, go out in the lawn and just she shits in the yard, shits on the lawn. Like oh, grandma's out there shit, and I gotta go clean up her shit. Yeah, I love her, but God, I hate cleaning her shit. Yeah, I would hate cleaning up probably human shit for some reason. But I remember more than dog shit. Well, when I was a kid, they had a boy in our neighborhood named Mario, right? <laughs> And he, uh, and he was, dude, he ended up dying, actually. He did some pills and drove into an embankment. But he, when I was young, he would shit in his yard make me bury it. And that's how, <laughs> that's how I was allowed to be friends with him. Why, how did he make you bury it? He just asked me to do it, and I was afraid not to do it, I think. He said, hey, yo, dude, you're not going to believe this, but I took a shit, and um, it's out my yard. I can't even bury it because I'll throw up. Can you do me a favor and go bury it? Yeah. He was, he, dude, he was dark, man. He had a, he had a real dark vision and he would, uh, he would, I mean, he probably honestly, dude, I, I was like, <laughs> he probably shit 200, 300 times and I buried it. No, I swear to God. Come on. I swear really? to God. I swear to God, dude. And he, um, how'd you not run out of places to make new holes? Did you think you ever dug up old shit to put in new shit? Oh, oh yeah. I wouldn't be surprised, man. It, <laughs> We basically had, like, the only setup I had, and I didn't even have a strong system. The only setup I had was, like, a one of those plastic, uh, you know, beach. Oh, no. Like a beach setup. Dude, How'd I'm talking, I was seven. There? So, wait a minute. This seven-year-old was doing this? How old was he? He was eight or nine. Oh, he was tricking you by yeah. being older. 
He was older. And two years when you're seven is a long stretch. You know, when you're 32, oh, yeah. 32 to 34, that God. doesn't mean shit. Whatever, dude. You, seven and nine, that's a big stretch. Yeah, you go shit at your house, buddy. That's what I tell people now. <laughs> but, so for two, what he would, sh what was the, f do you remember the first? There's no way you really remember. I like, remember what 100%. he said. I don't remember what he said, but I remember. How did it happen? How did it happen when you find yourself with a plastic shovel and another person's shit going, damn, how did it come to this? Well, it came to it because he, I know my brother probably wasn't around and I wanted somebody to play with and he mm. was older. So I was hanging out and he was deviant, man. How so? He just had a little bit of like, um, like he was kind of slithering. You know what I'm talking about? Mm. From, uh, he knew how to manipulate you. Yeah, he was. Obviously, uh, you buried his shit 200 plus times. Like there wasn't, he had the same color in the outside of his eye and the inside of his eye. You know what I'm talking like about? Like a demon. Yeah. Like a light demon. El Diablo. Yeah, like an El Diablo, but mm. also who was in elementary school. Oh, interesting. Um, but he... Uh, so when you first found yourself, do you remember the, the feeling that you first found when you were digging a hole for a dude's shit? Like, just thinking, what am I... How long can I do this? What if he keeps asking? How do I stop this? How did you wind up stopping? That's maybe a better question. You know what? I don't remember how it kind of, you know, pan... You know, how petered it kind off. of... Yeah, petered off. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember how it kind of tapered off. You know? dude, his parents ever like, hey, do you ever shit in the house? How come we don't have any missing toilet paper? <laughs> well, dude, you know what? That's what I think it was. I think he was lazy. Where you know he was. I'm serious. And he shat outside behind his sl uh, slide. They had a slide in his yard because they had you know a little oh bit of money. God. And he shat outside behind the slide. Shat this is a great word too, by the way. And it was silty, kind of soil and sand. And oh. I remember going over there. And I still remember doing. Yeah. Now I'm telling jokes. Jesus Christ. And yeah, and then telling people when you go back home and they've never seen you, they've never heard of you, they think you're gay. And if they're just like, you won't like, they're like, you keep flying home, you don't have any money, and you're right. not bringing a girl home. You're you hiding have these from jokes. Something. Yeah, you're, you're hiding, hiding from, from something, something. You know, yeah. just come out. I remember my stepdad is yelling at me in the yard one time. I told you to come out. Yeah, I was like, I'm not fucking gay, bro. <laughs> I was like, I'm just not flying some girl home that I just met. You wow. know, just to prove to he you guys, he catch you, he yeah. he could catch you to lie. <laughs> If you, the worst has got to be if someone says you're gay and you are, but you don't want to. Oh admit yeah, it, that'd be like, sick. Shit. Air. Yeah, you change shit. your clothes the next day. You come dressed like in a mafia outfit or something, <laughs> like something to totally take them hot off the trail. Or, you know, the meat. The uh, oh, you ate them. You saying? Yeah, but the you guys ate owls. Yeah, I don't I, think that's legal. You probably shouldn't say that on the podcast. Well, <laughs> I didn't have a lot. Over <laughs> it. I'll Some tell you this, if you say. want to feed a family of four, you can't just have one owl. I will say that, though. <laughs> well, if you look at what it looks like without the feathers, it looks like That's a I'm fucking demon. Yeah. You know? It's a real bait and switch, I feel like. It's one of God's hidden agendas. Well, I was talking to someone about peacocks about this, and I started talking about it on stage. I don't know. Yeah, that's a duck, bro. But it's, it says peacock. That is oh, something man. else. That See, is that meningitis, doesn't seem I think. right, though. Go back up yeah, to the peacock bro. picture. They have a, they just dropped that rabbit and mm. said, fuck it. And I stopped the car and to check it out. I was like, whoa. That's flirting, really, it sounds like. Flirting? Oh, if a oh, bird let, drops let a know. rabbit at your feet? Hey, bitch. Yeah. yeah. It's ready to fuck. Probably. Yeah, like you didn't love the French? I love the Canadians. French Canadians? Yeah, I'll take them. You love Canadians, period. I love Canadians, period. But do you love French Canadians? Yes, because they Those are little... Canadian. But French, mm. bro. Not into French? I, and nobody is. They make great wine. Yeah. That's not true. People go to Paris every year. Yeah, but they leave. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the kind of place people are milling around, man. <laughs> like if a plane crashed, I already know I'm planned ahead, dude. I'd eat a Vietnamese guy. Why? Um, because it's easy. It's a starter move. If you attack somebody bigger, <laughs> if you eat somebody bigger in front of other people, it's going to alarm people. But you... You got to eat a small person, so stature is important. I think if you gum down a Viet, people aren't going to be that upset at you. Well, the, the you Vietnamese know? people are going to be super upset. What are you talking about? No, Somebody's okay. dad. Yeah, they're sacrifice. They're more <laughs> understanding of things, dude. Is this a character you're playing? No. <laughs> but if you eat a black... Dude, you eat a black lady and her family's there, they're going to be pissed. So you think a Vietnamese person would let you slide? I think that they'd be much more forgiving over a couple of day period. Mm, I think... Uh, like well, their relatives. You don't think so? Honestly. Well, one thing... No, I don't think so. I definitely think they'd be super pissed at you, especially modernized ones. But what is interesting is like Vietnam is one of the few places where um, Americans can go back to Vietnam and they don't seem to hold any grudge at all. Exhibit A. <laughs> Exhibit A, man, honestly. <laughs> 
It, well, Asian people in general are, are just much more forgiving and understanding, it seems like, I feel yeah. like. I think. I mean, I don't have much. I think I think that's a giant generalization. It probably is, you know. I mean, I did a fast for like four days, and then I was at the Best Buy. And um, and I remember this Vietnamese guy was trying to help me out, and I couldn't even hear him. I was so hungry. <laughs> and I, I couldn't. You and, did a fast for four days? Oh, dude, yeah. What, what were you I, trying to prove? I don't know, man. I was probably just dealing with some stuff, and I was just trying to find a different way to handle it, you know? Right. Um, and then I remember this Vietnamese guy, and I remember thinking, if everybody turned the other way for a second, I could eat this young fella. You know, Ben. <laughs> his name was Ben, actually, <laughs> over there in Westwood. Um, but I, and I'd never thought... Oh, my thought, God, it's so ridiculous. But, well, I mean, but here's the thing. I'd never thought that before. So you only thought you got to the verge of cannibalism after just four days. Yeah. Damn. How much weight did you lose? I probably lost about four pounds, but pounds I needed, too. You wow. Know? But I got clear, man. I could he And I could hear, swear to God, y'all could hear somebody fold a piece of bread from 80 feet away, bro. <laughs> I was so hungry, dude. I could hear a fucking skittle hit the cement <laughs> across the street. I really... I think you would think they do, but for their size and stuff, they're not doing that much. Who do you I, think shoots the biggest loads? Basketball oh, I think a players? guy that's in space. I think a guy that's on a cliff, <laughs> like a cliff climber. Yeah, but is that the biggest loads? I mean, that guy's shooting some fucking... Just because he has the balls to climb oh, up like that? He's busting Ooh, some real spackle. Is. Maybe that's what it is. Like, he, he's got balls. Right. Like, those guys shoot bigger loads. Yeah. Like, BMX jumpers, and they jump three times in the air and then land on the bike? Yeah. Maybe they have the biggest loads. Um... Also, guys who like fake put a sign on their car when they don't pay a meter is like meters broken, and they just put that on their car and fucking still park there. Mm. Those dudes bust some <laughs> loads, bro. I think there's other things too, like pickpockets. Oh, people that wear turtlenecks do not come very much or far. No, what is it about Fuck wanting to keep your no. neck warm? It's not very manly. It's just a bitch move. I think. <laughs> it's just the most French thing too. Uh, and I don't care French about the French, thing. dude. Humans? Yeah, just okay. people that are just <laughs> smoking their own dicks out there who have no real life. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've met some people who, yeah, they're breathing, but that's it, yeah. really. Yeah, this you idea know? that we're all created equals. You've never met anybody that's a genius, if you say that. I've met some people that I'm like, I talk to them, I go, oh, I'm like a monkey yeah. compared to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know? Dude, I talked to your buddy Eddie Bravo, and that guy is a real. He's out there. He's like a jack. He's like a deaf, like a deaf Jack Russell almost. You know, a deaf Jack Russell. Yeah, because once he gets going, you can't. Oh, Jack Russell Terrier. Yeah, you ever been around one of those dogs? You open the car, and then the next thing you know, they're at the. Yeah, they're like sick. Yeah, but well, how's he deaf? Because you can't get him back. Like once he goes, you can't. You know what I'm saying? You can't get him back in the car. Oh, he's a deaf like you're jack sitting there honking the horn, you can't. That guy's out there. You know my home. You know what I'm talking about. I do know what you're talking about, but I've never heard anybody make a, a, a description like that. A deaf oh. Jack Russell Terrier. That is hilarious. He's extravagant, dude. Yeah. Do you think you see yourself ever going to church again? Yeah, I would think so. I yeah. think church is kind of evolving over our time and stuff like that. And um, would you go to Justin Bieber's preacher, Carl Lentz? You know who he is. Yeah. He, Whoa. He texted me actually. Whoa. He's trying to groom you. Trying to pull you in. How Is he a dark wear, arts? How low, low do you wear your shorts? Huh? <laughs> oh, I saw you guys making fun of his root. <laughs> Dick root. Yeah, that was a little wild, huh? So you know him? So you know uh, I've guy? never met him. No, you just text each other back and forth. Yeah, we communicate sometimes. Hashtag, yeah, that's that root. Hashtag Dick root. Handsome fellow. And he... Uh, Looks good. Yeah. They're both pretty camo attractive, too. I think. He's got camel shorts. Are um, those camel shorts? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. But I've never met him. But oh, I would go you just to text each other. Yeah. Does he try to meet you and you're like, not tonight, bro? No. <laughs> <laughs> you think he's homoerotic? No. Oh. No. I mean, I, that's I, a weird way of putting it. Oh. <laughs> I, mean, I think you're homoerotic. What? <laughs> bro, you're homo way gayer than me, bro. <laughs> you always, every time I'm here, you talk about jerking off the magical Is hat the we problem? almost wore. <laughs> What about Is that? that? The problem is like you came in here with like gay expectations. No, I got <laughs> nothing, dude.